Standard and Social Security, and the Office of the Prime Minister, I would like to welcome you to the ceremony where the Ambassador of the Republic of China and Taiwan, to San Wuxia, will be presenting a check to the government of San Wuxia for the financing of several development projects. The financing of projects in any small island development states, like San Wuxia, is critical to its economic development and to the development of its people. The projects implemented serve as a catalyst for economic activity, creating employment and incomes to people engaged during the construction as well as the operational phase of the project. However, over the last four years, due to the global economic and financial crisis, development aid flows from developed countries to small island development states have been on the decline. Thus, this has forced these countries to look in internally and to consider alternative ways of financing their development. Therefore, bilateral cooperation between small island developing states and countries like the Republic of China and Taiwan are always welcomed. The government of the Republic of China and Taiwan has provided assistance to San Lucia in several development areas and sectors ranging from agriculture, ICT, health to infrastructure, diverse community type projects. The projects identified for assistance follow a similar pattern um, today. Although the projects are not, in, are not targeted to specific communities, major benefits are expected in the sectors that have been identified, which include improvement to sporting facilities, provision of medical and forensic equipment, and improvement of public sector energy efficiency, among some of the others. So once again, let me welcome you on behalf of the Ministry of Finance to this Czech presentation ceremony. It is my great pleasure and honor to attend this launch ceremony for the initial stage of six programs. These six group programs are, first, the VG Beach Facility Program to upgrade services to tourists. Second, the procurement of forensic equipment to boost the crime-fighting capability for law enforcement sector. Third, the lighting for recreational facilities to broaden usage of the youth recreational facilities. Fourth, the multiple channel contact and data center to set up an integrated governmental service platform for civil servants, citizens, and visitors. Fifth, the Sustainable Energy Action Initiative to increase the use of solar and bioenergy sources and reduces expenditure on fossil energy. And finally, the procurement of medical equipment for radiology department of St. Jude Hospital to provide better medical care for the region. The completion of these programs will not only bring safer and more effective environment for St. Lucian people, but also strengthen the foundation for St. Lucia to prosper. In addition to the above mentioned programs, I would also like to indicate that there are other ongoing cooperation projects, such as the Banana Back Sagatoga Prevention Program and the procurement of meat processing facility equipment and the constituency development program. It is our hope that we can see more people to get the benefits as a result of this meaningful cooperation program between our two governments. In conclusion, it is my firm belief that there are still many more cooperation projects that we can jointly work with, and I look forward to a closer and a stronger relationship between our two countries. Thank you. Thanks for taking time off to be here today and honoring us with your presence. It was through a national address on September 11th last year that I announced that the government of St. Lucia had decided to maintain its diplomatic ties with the government of the Republic of China, Taiwan. Since then, our relations have continued to strengthen and today we are here to witness another public manifestation of this growing and deepening relationship between our two island countries. I am pleased, though, through you, Your Excellency, we have been able to reach to this day where our two countries can deepen our mutual cooperation 
and exchange respecting each other's cultures, laws, and traditions, and that we can trust each other. On behalf of the government and people of St. Lucia, let me thank you, Your Excellency, for your openness and commitment to the progress of our people, even during these very challenging times. These funds are being provided through the hard work of the people of the Republic of China, Taiwan, and we wish to say thank you by ensuring that they are spent well to improve the quality of life of St. Lucia. And that has to be the litmus test, whether the funds and the generosity of your people improve the quality of life of our people. I ask that you convey to your government and the people of your country, the Republic of China, Taiwan, the sincere gratitude of the St. Lucian people for your support today and into the future. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you and I wish you a good day. Thank you very much.